This group of work actually is a couple of years in the making. It was an attempt to make a show that had a variety of points of view. It started in the 70s uh, with carving of the shapes and in the 70s I began to stop working on rectangles and squares. The whole notion about carving um, started quite early and uh, to actually have the shape of the painting become part of the subject of the painting. This is called uh, Trace. Back in the 70s, one of the uh, things that I did was uh, to start getting involved in shaping. I made paintings which I called shields. And uh, these were uh, inspired by actually medieval shields. The carving, um, of course, is not about shields as a protective device, but still they have a lot to do with the notion of something in this scale, to be more aware of the edges of the painting rather than the center of the painting. A lot of these colors are combinations of color layers. I first carve the wood and then I make a painting on the wood and then I laminate fabric over the painting, it's like a scrim. The intention was that if one looked at the painting long enough, that certain things would begin to take place that you don't see upon just immediately looking and spending a short period of time. The whole notion about life, the lifeline had to do with the fact that when the paintings were not together, there was no connection. In one sense, the mind realizes that the shape that you're looking at doesn't really exist because it's a shape that's been removed. But by putting them together, um, there's a kind of um, feeling that there is some substance or solidity to that which doesn't exist. And I really am intrigued by the notion, that notion about creating something that has a feeling of existence, yet it doesn't really physically exist. It's not about hiding something, but it's placing it in the painting so that it reveals itself in its own, in its own time. Nothing is all at once. It has a lot to do with perception and the notion about spending the time allowing not only the eyes retinally to open, but the mind to open to what you're experiencing. <laughs>